All right. It is Pokemon time again. And we basically need to just get ready to uh, to kick some Elite Four ass. So, um, I, I guess we will do that. I think I did actually prep uh, all my items and stuff last time, if I'm remembering correctly. We got lots of antidotes, lots of paralyzed heals, some awakenings, some super potions, but those aren't going to be super important. Uh, burn and ice heals, lots of revives, lots of moo milk. Uh, we got some ethers that will restore PP. We got lots of full heals. We got some lemonade, apparently. We got a lava cookie. Not that many hyper potions, actually. I probably... Well, I guess that being said, like... We have the moo, moo milks for 100, and hyper potions are 120, so... The value of those is not as important, especially since we have lots of max potions. We've got an elixir. We have full restores. Max elixir, max ether. Um, let's go to our other items pocket. We should probably just burn through all the like permanent increase items that we've got as well. Uh, and make sure just everyone's got stuff equipped that they could have. Uh, Raises the base defense points. Special defense points. Attack base points. Speed base points. Just trying to figure out what I've even got here in the first place. Vastly increases, sharply increases the holder's crit ratio. I mean, we could... Everyone else has got something already, except for Splashy Jr. So, at this point, we're effectively looking for what we give him. Or her, I suppose, actually. Uh, I guess maybe that's... Uh, keeps wild Pokemon away. Um... Stores a little HP every time it inflicts damage. Yeah, I mean, I guess... I guess we can give that to Splashy Jr. Why not? Um, and then the question is going to be, where do I use these? The annoying thing is that we just have to... Okay, so we've got speed, attack, and special defense. Fast, pretty fast. Dank Nug can maybe do with a little bit of a speed boost. In fact, yeah, wait, Dank Nug's the only one here who's particularly slow. Um, so yeah, let's give Dank Nug the speed. Hold on, and then. Dank Nug gets speed, so then special defense. Hey, die forever! My stream title is cut off when you hold your phone and portrait. Uh, special defense was the one I was looking for. <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly as intended. Uh, so I guess... So Dank Nug gets speed. Miracle gets special defense. Hey, Deceptive. It's like I planned it. Uh, it was attack the other one, I think? Doesn't really make sense to give it to Miracle. It could maybe, yeah, maybe on Asshole. Okay, so let's go and burn through that stuff. Oh, and we also have other things, but Special Defense goes on Miracle. What? I don't have any effect, what? Evidently, I don't understand how these work, then. Uh, <laughs> attack, I was gonna give to asshole. Uh, Carbos, I was gonna give to, or Carbos, 
It's gonna give to Dank Nug. So there, I no, I clearly don't understand how these work. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I can't use that. Uh, in that case. Fuck it, whatever. And special defense. I wanted to give it to you. Uh, I fucking don't know. No idea. Uh, I guess... You get zinc. And you get zinc. And defense. Uh, Dank Nug? Nope. Apparently Dank Nug can't have defense either. Does asshole get more defense? I guess so. Uh, and then I guess we'll give one to... Chump Jim? Oh, nope. Splashy Jr.? Nope. Sparky? Nope. Alright, no one can have any more defense. Oh, no, never mind. Asshole can have more. Uh... Okay. I think we burned through all of that. No, it, it's just a... I, it's, it's something to do with, like, there's, like, maximums that you can boost things to, I think. Um... I just don't understand how that actually functions. <laughs> uh, I guess we could buy some, some balls while we're here. I have, I don't know how those systems work, because those, those just like straight increase stats, and who knows. I'm going to buy six more of these, I guess. Why not? Bring us up to 20. We got lots of other healing items as well, but in case we just need that extra 20 above and beyond the Moo Moo Milk, we can have those. Let's get a couple more of these full restores. You know what? Let's get... Hmm, but I'm actually almost... Yeah, let's just get four. Okay, then we're gonna back out. We're gonna sell, because we have some things that we can sell. Treasures. So we can sell two of those. Big mushroom. We can get 2,500. Nuggets usually worth 5,000. Yes. And a pearl is apparently only worth 700. Alright. So... I guess we save again, because I have done further stuff. And I guess at this point we just fucking YOLO it? Who gives a shit? Whatever, what happens, happens. Oh. Hold it! Don't go off without me! You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here, too. I see who's more worthy of making the challenge with the battle. Okay, we have to fight dumb motherfucker first. I also probably... <laughs> Actually, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting, because this is Gen 4, but I don't think it was... I, I think Gen 4 still does the the linear progression of, of Elite 4, where you just go straight through in, in the set order. Um, yeah, his his hair is just fucked. Um, oh, that's super effective. Um, but yeah, I think, I think Gen 4, you still go through straight through, but I, I think it was Gen 5 was when they... They made it so once you got to the Elite Four, you could choose what order to do the Elite Four in. I think that was Gen Four where they, they started doing that. Is this guy sturdy or was I really unlucky? Mm. Yeah, okay, he had a he had a sturdy equivalent. I'm also assuming I can then go back to the Pokemon Center and heal after this fight before actually going to the Elite Four. But yeah, what I guess I guess my brain was thinking, oh yeah, this will this is like the later Elite Fours where you get to choose the order and so you also know what type they are first. Um, and so you can kind of just make some adjustments on the fly there. Uh, Snorlax isn't just a straight normal type, I think. Wait, no, fighting is good against normal. Um, not ideal to have 
gone two days and then before doing the Elite Four. But yeah, I was thinking I, was thinking I could kind of make some adjustments on the fly, but I probably should think about how my team is organized, or at least who's at the front of my party. I suppose more, more specifically uh, as we go in here. Okay, that's Snorlax. I can't believe we just fucking one-shot. I mean, I guess it's not that surprising that we just one-shot the Snorlax, but like, Snorlax is a pretty beefy boy. Uh, about to send out Empoleon, which is water steel. So we'll go to Sparky. I don't, I don't think steel is weak to electricity, but it's not strong against it either, I don't think. This should be to our to our benefit. Uh, this is the strong one, right? Yeah. Oh, come on! Fuck off, Don't Brian! Whoa! Why was that so effective? Oh, motherfucker just quick clawed me. All right. Wow, he actually killed my Pokemon. I think that's the first time. Uh, in that case, he's still low though. He's water, right? Water, water, steel. Oh, we, so I guess steel resists grass. Oh, and I guess we get to see this here. Uh, oh, fighting is super fast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, except that that's a bad choice because he's fire also. Um, Sparky is dead. That is unfortunate. I guess I, I don't need much though, unless he uses a like a heal on him. We should be in a positive. Nope. All right, so we should be able to get him here. But yeah, so in terms of the Elite Four, I'm not like wildly concerned about them, but it's not the Elite Four that I'm concerned about. Everyone always talks about the champion and that's where shit gets real. So that's, that's what I'm concerned about more so than the Elite Four. Although, admittedly, that motherfucker is putting up a little bit more of a fight here than uh, than any other time. His levels are actually fairly close to me now, like proportionally. Uh, I think Aquatail is, yeah, because he's a he's physical. But let's go with this because it's hundred percent accuracy. I don't know that we'll need poison jab. What? Why the fuck does your rapid ash no poison jab? Like I don't yeah, we didn't we didn't need the full power anyway, so I'd rather do that and get the guaranteed hit than uh Oh and, and he's not poisoned anymore, nice. Than uh, have the opportunity. Heracross is fighting. I think he's Yeah, I think he's bug fighting. I don't think he's just straight fighting. And I don't think that matters because I don't think Bug is resistant to Psychic at all, so... Yeah, no, let's, let's buck him up. So he's already done his Empoleon. Like, what is his last Pokemon? I, I don't even remember what his team really was before, so... It doesn't matter. So, man, I've got, like... My neck has been sore for days. I have no idea what I did to, like... Fuck it up. Oh, Roserite, okay. Let's set it on fire.
fully believe in this last one, he says. Just before it goes up in flames. It's like, it's like right up in my neck here. I just need like a, uh, like, a like a heat bag thing. One of those rice bags. Uh, flamethrower. It's weird, because I swear I used to have one of those. I can't find it anywhere. Evidently, I need to, like, order one. I don't know why I didn't do that today. Uh, Junior leveled up. No, I had looked for it before I moved. Like, I... I, ha I have been in this situation since before. Well, not this particular one. What just went down? My still team still needs raising. Uh, I've been in the, in a similar situation before moving as well. I'm like, where the fuck is it? I have no idea where it was. Or maybe I just actually never had one. I'm just imagining that. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it. Just do wait. I'll get tougher and, and win my way through the Pokemon League. Because I'm going to become the toughest Pokemon trainer there is. The champion. Astro, you'd better not lose to anyone before me. Alright. So. Now that that's done, <laughs> we will heal up again. His hair is just like entirely fucked. Fucked for eternity. Save. So we don't have to do that fight again if something goes horribly wrong. Uh, do I want to lead with asshole? I guess so. Fuck it. Let's try this again. Let me confirm that you're qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. To do so, I'll need to examine the gym badges you've gathered from around Sinnoh. Orberg City's Coal Badge. Eternity City's Forest Badge. Veilstone City's Cobble Badge. Pastoria City's Fen Badge. Hardhome City's Relic Badge. Candlelave City's Mine Badge. Snowpoint City's Icicle Badge. And finally, Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. Very well. Trainer, you've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's save. Let's actually save here uh, so that we don't have to do that dialogue again. All right. What do we think this guy is, based on <laughs> the information we have here? I don't know that those things... I don't know what those things on the side are, so I, I can't base anything off of that. He looks like... He's wearing some pants and a s sleeveless shirt. Fighting type? I have no idea. Fuck it, whatever. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League, says Aaron. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four, it's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain, I'm a huge fan- Oh, fucking bug type. You're a fucking bug type? Bug type Elite Four, what? Bug Pokemon are nasty, mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? Because you're a fucking loser, that's why. It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Also, this guy's a bug type leader and he's got sleeveless shirt on what a buffoon he should be wearing like a beekeeper suit <sighs> this is how you get ticks all right fucking dust ox Oh man, Pokemon T-Poses are fantastic. Uh, in Sun and Moon, fucking, uh, what's his name? The the fire wrestling guy. His, oh, I've already forgotten. Darkest Lariat is this move. And it, it literally is just the spinning T-Pose and it's the greatest animation of all time. This is not how I should, what I should actually be doing here. I should switch to 
Oh man, yeah, I need to. Oh, do I switch to my good Pokemon and start burning my. Like, so here's the it. Oh my god, what a fucking asshole. Uh, here's the problem is like. You don't get to refill. Oh, that's super effective. There we go, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. You don't get to refill your PP, so you gotta be careful to not burn it all out before you get to the real fight. Or at least normally you don't. Oh, fuck my life. That's your, uh, your number of times you can use a move. You don't get to refill your PP. Uh, you know what? Fuck this guy in the brain. Oh shit, that wasn't even a kill. That means I'm probably gonna die. God damn it. All right, fine. Fine, I'll, I can bring him back later. How many guys is this? Man, like fucking first one here, not even anything actually scary and I've now lost a Pokemon. That's a fantastic start. I don't think he'll use another heal on him. Uh, he is low, though. He actually might use another healing item. Yeah. But on the plus side, usually a trainer only gets two full restore, or like like gym leaders and, and elite four and stuff, usually only get two full restores. So he's burned them both on his first Pokemon. And I'm using Flame Wheel just because, oh, he had a light screen on it wasn't paying attention. I'm using Flame Wheel because we got lots of PP for that and uh, it's not the strongest move, but it's good enough. Is that a hair across a hair? Shit. This, this is where it would have been nice to uh, have had um Miracle again. We'll stick with Chump Chimp for now. I think fire should still be fine against it. Oh, yeah, fire is still good. I'm gonna go all out and go flamethrower. He's level 54. So we're still like nine levels above him. Okay, good. Just knock him out in one shot. Don't don't give him an opportunity to do anything. <laughs> Dank Nug has hit the 60 mark. Let's learn Pedal Dance. I probably don't want to do Pedal Dance, but we'll have a look. Oh wait, actually maybe it, mm, two or three turns, but it is 120, 100%. You do become confused afterwards, but like. Uh, and wait, is this special attack? Special attack is higher, so this, maybe I should replace Pedal Blizzard with that? Because that's 30 stronger and it's in his stronger stat. I can always switch him out. So I think as long as you switch him out before before it ends, he doesn't get confused? I don't know if that was a terrible move. I think that was fine. I don't think that was terrible. Um, Beautiful Eye will be Flying Bug. Could go to Sparky, and that would probably be fine. Because I don't want to burn through his moves. Because he's going to be... He's my big boy, so he, he needs to be ready to, to punch real hard. Quiver Dance, I'm assuming it's just a stats thing. That attack up. Yeah, a special attack up, okay. And special defense and speed. None of that matters though. Uh, was that his last Pokemon? I don't think it was. I think they have a full set of six. I have I was not paying attention at all here coming in. Vespa Quinn. I think is also Flying Pug? We haven't seen one of these before. Yeah. 
getting nervous to eat berries, but that's fine because I wasn't going to eat berries anyway. So one more after this. But yeah, this is, this is probably flying, so I'm going to use Thunderbolt again. It should be effective. Yes, good. Okay. One left. Uh, Drapion is the scorpion thing, I believe. So I think Poison Bug? The couple here, they're like, ooh, these are, these are ones that I do not recognize. I think this is the scorpion. Uh, oh, this is the, the scorpion evolution. Uh, I don't think we've encountered one of these before, evidently, since it's not in our stats here. But it should be weak to fire. Oh, it's not actually super effective. Oh. Okay. That was super effective, though. Not yet! Your first Pokemon League victory doesn't come easily, kid. But luckily, he shouldn't have any more... Uh, so, and I guess he isn't low enough to have wanted to use a heal either. The AI for figuring it, to figure out if they are going to want to use a heal, it's basically, if their Pokemon is in the red and they have heals, they will heal your, their Pokemon. Like, that, that is just how it works. I will now concede defeat. But I think you came to see how great Bug-type Pokemon can be. I will admit, I maybe underestimated you a little bit. I hope you also realize what you're up against in the Pokemon League. Battling is a deep and complex affair. Alright, so, that's one down. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it, back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three more trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's bring people back up to full here. Uh, revive. We've got 40 of those. <laughs> okay. Chump Chimp. I think Chump Chimp's the only other one who got hurt. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Everyone else is full. Now, is this still the... I guess whatever. We'll, we'll see who's next. Okay. I think this is an old woman, so I think this might be Ghost. <laughs> because that's, that's usually how it works. They're basically dead anyway, so. Uh, it is brown, though. That's true. It could it could be could be ground type. Um, so in that case, uh, ground is weak to water. Wait, what does it say there? Battle your way through the Pokemon League. Bertha. Well, well. You're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Haha, <laughs> I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground-type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? What color was the floor in the, in the bug-type guy's room? Is it green? Purple? Quagsire. Is Quagsire water ground? Also, note that things in the corner of the room uh, that are just like spewing dust or like sand into the room. What a fantastic room to live in. Uh, now let's hit... Hold on. Let's just take a quick, quick peek here. We've definitely fought a Quagsire before. Definitely grass would be good there. So yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll actually just switch to Dank Nug. Swapping without being 
in between Pokemon is always kind of... Oh, okay, nice. That's actually perfect. Uh, let's pedal dance. Cash. Let's switch to someone else just to, to cancel the. Um, I don't know what whisk cash is. I, it's obviously ground. Obviously ground, but straight ground maybe. I don't know. I think this is a cat thing or something. I'm not sure. Oh no! This is a. Another water ground thing. Okay. I guess. That it, given that it's like a catfish. Um, fuck it. Let's just hit it with one of these, I guess. Fine. Hydro Pump won't be particular. I mean, it'll be exciting, but like, it's against a water type, so. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't really that bad. I guess we'll just do another Aqua Tail here. Oh, fuck off. Alright, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that, that is a very good takeaway. It's why... The whole system of single type gyms is really fucking stupid. Uh, Pseudo Wudo is rock type. I think he's only rock type. I don't think he is ground type. Which is interesting that she has a Pseudo Wudo then. She's a ground type trainer, but I mean, whatever. Er, ground, ground and rock are like. I, I don't even exactly know half the time exactly what they mean with those distinctions. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm not even, I'm not gonna use close combat. I think that's a bad idea at this point. Mm, okay, he did eat that pretty well. Oh, nice. He loves me too much to get hit. Uh, I think we can kill him in three hits here. Or two if we get a crit. Or so I assume that was a crit. Yeah. Hey, okay, Castle. Yeah. Well, weren't Ground and Rock always split? This is Elite Four. This is the second of the Elite Four. But, like, it, it's such a weird and arbitrary distinction that, like, it's not... Well, I guess there's Grass and Bug, which which you could kind of argue are, are similar... But they, those are at least more distinct. It's like plants versus bugs, whereas ground and rock are like... No, you could have probably just made this one type. Uh, Golem is rock type, so we could punch him to death. Let's go all out here this time. Fucking sturdy asshole. Watch him self destruct. Okay. Oh, I always forget about fucking Earthquake. Fuck. <laughs> she must not have that many Pokemon left, though. Yeah, I'm, I, I think they were always split, but I'm not 100% certain about that. Uh, yeah, one more. Uh, hmm. She's going to use a full restore, so I'm going to go for the... Oh, she didn't. That's unusual and fuck my life. Okay. Uh, we just need to go fast. Uh, who's 
Miracle is our slow one, I think. All right, you know who's not gonna be weak to this? Coffee, fried chicken, and birthday cake, nice. Uh, let's just go with a dragon claw. Hey, Blasmo! Yeah, this is asshole, because it took us a fucking half hour to... Also, what a fucking asshole! Speaking of assholes... Uh, it took us half an hour to catch this asshole. You know what? Fuck you. Okay. Splash Jr. leveled up. Uh, Hippodon is probably... I've said this every time, probably water ground. Probably water ground. But then he comes out and he's a fucking brown hippo. And I'm pretty sure he's just straight ground type. So let's just keep current Pokemon. He's not even brown. He's like black. Which I guess is fairly similar to actual hippo color, but whatever. Uh, I wonder how much I believe in this being able to kill it. Fuck it. Mm, not quite. I have faith that we can survive this. Fuck. <laughs> Happy birthday, countless soul. Dear child, don't assume for an instant that you've won. Fuck. <laughs> okay. So that's that. And she's actually fucked me up here. Does she have a full restore? I guess not. Okay, well, that was a beating. They were always split. Okay, yeah, 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 because the card, the card game was fucked up in terms of typing. Yeah, Earthquake is, like, ungodly strong. It just, like, kicked the shit out of so many of my, my Pokemon there. But, yeah, the card game was weird because, like, yeah, Ground and Rock probably were together in the card game because Psychic and Ghost were also together in the card game. Um, and I think there were probably other things like that. Like, I think Bug was probably merged with Grass, if I had to guess, but... Well, dear child, I must say, that was most impressive. Your Pokémon believed in you and did their best to earn you the win. Even though I've lost, I find myself with a silly grin. And we got $7,000. I mean, if the ground is literally splitting open as it seems to in this in this animation uh it doesn't surprise me that it would fuck you up but like i don't think that usually is what happens you're quite something youngster i like how you and your pokemon earned the win by working as one that's what makes you so strong haha <laughs> i think you, that you can go as far as you want that's a that's a weird way of saying that i think you can go as far as you want implying that if i lose it's because i didn't actually want to go any further it's fine now. They put it back together again. It's, uh, it's... Oh. It's, uh... Oh, wait, I should've... Fuck! 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 It's, uh, self... Self-healing ground. Just made of, uh... Non-Newtonian... Fluid. We're just stomping really hard. Grass, fire, water, electric, normal, psychic. Yeah. Yeah, so they merged... Yeah, bug and grass, psychic and ghost, uh, and I guess got rid of dragon. I don't know. I don't know where dragon would have fallen in. Maybe psychic or something, but or maybe fire. Uh, okay, let's bring this guy back. Well, I'm burning through these revives. Jesus. 
I don't think that one health is a concern. Good thing I got all these moo moo milks as well. Uh, Alright. Two down. Rocked me a bit. Dragon's just normal. Oh yeah, flying type, yeah. Okay, this guy is obviously fire. <laughs> this one, this one I can figure out. Uh, oh, and this is the guy that we met in Sunny Shore. Uh, okay, so fire type, so Splashy Jr. actually makes sense as our lead here. Yo, trainer! You had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? I guess with a name like Flint, fire especially makes sense. Look at those fucking suspenders, though. Uh, Rapidash. Better not fucking know Poison Jab like the last Rapidash we encountered. Yeah, it would it would be a style if he actually had them up. Um, Waterfall is probably fine. He's actually higher level than me here, I just noticed. Five. Hip no. Ooh, okay, avoided. Good. For all McDonald's hits their teenage look. Yeah, that's plenty. Ow, but we got burned. Okay, at least that's not doing that much. Uh, Steelix. Okay, so we will go to... Uh, wait, how have I been murdering Steelix? Has it just been with fire? Also, wait, why does this guy have a Steelix? Why does this guy have a Steelix? He's a fire type guy with a steel type. Can Steelix learn, like, fire-type moves or something? Like, sometimes there's just weird shit like that that they throw in. It's like, why do you have this? Is this supposed to, like, round out your team? And then a low punny, which I... Th is at least normal. Maybe fighting? I don't think low punny is fire either. Um, actually, maybe I will set that out. I have no fucking idea what the shit low punny is. Uh, low punny is definitely normal because it's weak to getting punched in the face. Okay, I maybe should have gone with the, the stronger punch in the face, but, you know. Okay, it might, it might be normal fighting. Wait, what? Oh, that must have been... Yeah, okay. And I was like, how does that give health back? It might just be straight normal, though, and just have a fighting type move. I don't know. Yeah, like, what's what's with this fire-type guy who has, a, like, a steel-type and a normal... Is Steelix even gra uh, rock-type? Like, Steelix is obviously steel-type. I don't know if it maintains the rock-typing from, from Onyx. I assume it doesn't, because I think that would counteract the effectiveness of, of fire. So, like, yeah, what is with this guy's team? I don't think Drifblim is fire type either. Drifblim is definitely ghost. And wait, is psychic good against ghost? Or is good ghost good against psychic? Hold on. 
Ghost. Weakness. Pokemon. Weakness. Ghost. Dark. Psychic. Well, let's go with Miracle for now. Steel, like steel ground, okay. Is Onyx ground? Or is he rock? Now, now I'm confused about what Onyx is. <laughs> Did Steelix just pick up ground out of nowhere just to like... Okay, this was not the right call. I don't even know what the fuck... Oh. That like increases its stats. Oh, fuck off. Okay, on Onyx is rock ground. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and I guess it knows will o -Wis Although will o -Wisp, I th think is still a ghost type move that... Ah, get fucked! Get synchronized! Oh my god, stop it! What's going on? Okay. On pass? I think that's a swap out. Uh, okay, he's got an Inferno. Look at that. Well, this is gonna suck for you since you're psychic type. <laughs> love, love that baton pass of like, oh shit, fuck the psychic that he's continuously using. Better switch to a fighting type to get super effective by by the fucking other thing. All right, let's just go for a side shock to finish it off here. Oh, okay. Fuck you then. Uh, let's go to. Flashy Jr. then. So we still need to deal with that Drift Blim. Drift Blim might... Oh, and that's the only other Pokemon he's got even, so... Uh, so yeah, we'll go with the Waterfall since that's 100% accuracy. Fucking full restore, but whatever. Fine. He might use his second full restore this next turn. I don't know. I don't know if he can kill me. Oh shit! He has thunder punch. Oh, I'm gonna die from the burn, but I'll finish him off. Did that happen in the show? All right, he's dead from the burn, but whatever. That's fine. It doesn't really matter because he's only got one left anyway. Uh, so that he's got that fucking Drift Blim left. Drift Blim might be ghost flying? I don't know, fuck it. Let's just send out Sparky and see what happens. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering me. Uh, he just punched him real hard in the face. I, I mean, to be fair, I, I made fun of him because he's, I, I was using Psychic. He swapped into a fighting type and I kicked the shit out of him. But then he hit me before, uh, before I could hit him the next turn. Uh, okay, yeah, so he is definitely flying. Get fucked. Okay, not quite a kill. Eating some some of these nuts. Although by eating those nuts, uh, it stopped him from using the full restore, probably. Oh, like, did he already use the second full restore? I don't remember at this point. I don't think this will kill him. Oh no, that did nothing. That just. Does that really just burn you? Alright, well, whatever. That's, uh, that's Flint down. That's 
Souls up to 58. Blue should be a, it really should. There there is a an interesting factor there. If you're flying, you shouldn't really actually be able to get hit by lightning. Whoa! I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't looking down on you, but I didn't think for a second that I'd lose. This is fantastic. You and your Pokemon are inspiring. Dot 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 dot. Woo! Burnt right down to cinders. Alright, he didn't have much to say. Uh, alright. So let's go through the fucking steps of bringing everyone back to life and back up to full health. Alright, so we have finally made it past that uh, point where where it makes sense for Splashy to be in the lead. I don't know who it makes sense to be in the lead after this, but I guess we'll have to play it by ear. Uh, and then let's get rid of that burn. Use the actual burn heal since, since we have those. Uh, and everyone else is fine. On to number four. This is either Ghost or Psychic. With the like purple and a gray haired guy with a book. Gray haired guy with a book feels more more like ma magical and mystic, like ghost type, than psychic to me. So I'm gonna guess Ghost. Although, would they do Ghost again? I don't. I'm trying to think because because the, there was Ghost. There was a Ghost Elite Four in Gen One. Was there a Psychic type between that and here? Does that matter? I don't know. Yeah, that's true. They are more. Those would probably be like Purple Flames if it was Ghost, because that's like a ghosty thing. Yeah, it could be Psychic. Um, let's just put Miracle in the front. And we can play it by ear from there. But the floor is purple. I guess that could work, or like, it could be gray. It could work for steel. I don't know, yellow, whatever. Lucian. Lucian. Uh, ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. Wait, I bet there was no book in the original game. <laughs> he probably just said, ah, I've just finished reading a book. So they're like, aha, let's give him a book. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lucien. I'm a user of psychic types. Okay. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I'll have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Alright, so. This is a Psychic type. Mr. Mime, it's a perfect creation! Now... Got that, which would be effective. Got that, which would be effective. Not even his battle spread. Yeah, so they definitely were like, what does he say in his line? He must have a book. If he says he just finished reading a book, he should probably have a book in his hand. It makes sense. It's reasonable. It's at least a reasonable thing to put in his sprite. Or his, like, his model there. Let's, let's... Uh, not very effective, though, yeah. Let's do this. He's probably just going to use like a light screen or something for his turn anyway, so. If 
fucking called it. <laughs> He's a Mr. Mime. Light screen is like their thing. Uh, well, let's flash cannon him. Although, of course, that will be hindered by the light screen. Dazzling Gleam? I don't even know what that is. Okay, super effective. Another Dazzling Gleam. We should be able to knock him down now. Perfect. Let's do Mime Down. Mime Down. I repeat, Mime Down. Splash Jr. up to 58. Miracle to 61. Metacham. That's a fighting psychic. So we are going to go to Miracle. Because the psychic won't matter, but it's going to be good against the fighting. Oh, wait. Why did I think this would work? Wait, what? Oh, shit. I did that entirely... I did that entirely backwards. Yeah, I should have done this. Well... Fine, that was our psychic type, so. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Whatever, just just burn. Why do I feel like that worked before? Didn't I do that before and it was totally fine? Alakazam, okay, so. Uh... So Alakazam is psychic. Just straight psychic as far as I know. Psychic is good against fighting. Yeah, psychic is good against fighting. So I don't want to do that. Is Psychic weak to poison? Is that a thing? Oh my god. There we go. Uh, Psychic is super effective against that weak uh Fairy and... Oh, okay, that was why that was good. Um, Ghost is good against Psychic. What else is good against Psychic? Dark is good against Psychic. Dark is good against Psychic. Who has Dark? Does Spark Splashy Jr. have Dark still? No. You've got Dark. this again. Alkazam looks really lame here. Okay, so that's a guarantee, or I think it's a guaranteed hit. A little mustache, two spoons, everything you need. Wait, is Future Sight even the one that I'm thinking of? Uh, Giraffe Rig, I think, is also just straight psychic, but I just want to take a second here. Yeah, Future Sight is the one that's two turns after the move is used as Hunk of Psychic Energy Attacks. Mega Alakazam is much cooler, because you have a much bigger mustache. 
for all the acid eats. Okay, so Trick Room, I think, swaps the uh, speed ordering, I think. So slower Pokemon go first. Full gray beard, mustache, and the feet are clasped together. Fucked up. And there's that future site, which, yeah, is gonna be the kill. It 100% need. Oh, but I have to now pick who I'm sending out next. Swap to Splashy Jr. I might still get an opportunity to switch. Yeah, Girafferig has I sent out a bronze on. Okay. Has as like second head on its ass. And it is very chain chomp ass. Uh I mean I guess whatever. Let's just see what we can do with this guy before we. Before we die. We might actually be able to just kind of brute force him with, with Splashy Jr. Oh yeah, that was actually surpri- oh, I guess it was a crit, but like, that was surprisingly effective. We should be able to do one more of those, and they probably won't put him in, in the red either. So he shouldn't use a full restore, I don't think. Uh, I did actually put him in the red, so he probably will. I'm going to switch to Waterfall for this next one. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> you can you can really cheese things, like, when you know that. When you know that that's just how the logic works. Like, if they're in the red, they will use the full restore. I probably should have used Waterfall before that, too. Uh, did Trick Room wear off, or does that reverse it back to how it was? Or does it just, like, reset the timing on that? Well, a light screen wore off. I don't think it ever said that the Trick Room wore off. You defeated Elite Four Lucian. I see. You got to pass the three before me was no fluke. Your power was real. And now comes the real deal. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. It remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Not quite yet. Let's <laughs> bring people back to life. Oops, that's not what we meant to do. Uh, restore. Milk. I guess we'll use that for eight. <laughs> Why not? We got lots of them. And now... We prepare for a show of dominance. Have you been keeping well? Thank you from Mount Coronet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. 
as the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. Champion Cynthia. All right, let's see if she kicks our ass as, as badly as everyone says she always does. Also, it's getting real, so like, hoodie off. Level 61, that's a good start. Uh, I pr probably should have, oh, that's a very bad, I should have swapped who I had uh, in the lead. Uh, pressure, I believe, uh, means that it takes two PP rather than just one uh, when you use a move, I think. Uh, but yeah, so Spirit Tomb is at least Ghost. I think it's Ghost Rock. So this is probably a very bad starting situation. Let's see if I can do this and not get fucked. any particular thing against me, but... Uh, let's... Let's do a max potion here. Because I think we can... I think... I don't think the spirit tomb can knock us down all the way. So I don't think this will put me in a heal loop. We, we have lots of max potions, so we'll... We, okay, it's like using a different move every time. Okay, that was more than half my health. So that's not ideal. Uh, let's crunch again. Eat these nuts. Not great. Not a great start. Uh, maybe? Still got the level advantage on me. Uh, I think Flash Cannon should be effective here. She'll probably use a full... Oh, okay. She swapped it out. Interesting. Gastrodon. Okay. That's water... something? Oh, is Gastrodon... Does Gastrodon have... Electric? Hold on. Let's have a look at our options here. Maybe I should switch to Dank Nug. I don't know how badly I'm being baited here. I'm gonna do absorb and hope that that actually does a good amount of damage. Uh, that wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be. Okay, that was a crit.
Wait, how many times does it get to use its leftovers? I thought leftovers were once only. Maybe they're twice? Maybe it's every turn. Maybe you can keep using leftovers eternally? No, that's stack nug down. Okay, this is this is not going well. I probably should have saved after doing after before coming into this room. Go to Splashy Jr. I don't think. There will be a, an answer for this there. I'm gonna do something a little funny here. I'm gonna actually, ooh, do I use the max revive? I don't think I want to use the max revive. I'll just use a regular revive on Sparky. Cause I don't think yeah. Okay. I don't think it has a good answer for, for Splashy here. Which means I can, like, theoretically kind of take the opportunity here. Mm, Sludge Bomb. A little annoying. Okay, that was a crit, though. It's getting its health back, but just slowly, so. Uh, so with those two back, I'll Moo Moo Milk Splashy Jr. just so that we don't accidentally lose him if, if she pulls some, some crazy bullshit out of her hat here. And then I'll top the other two up. And then we'll, and then we'll start the fight again. Uh, let's do Sparky first, I guess. opportunity where I could use a hyper potion instead of the moon milk on on splashy here just to get a smidge more I don't think I want to use a max potion but I, I will use a hyper potion and we'll just top up Whoever, there was someone else. I know, I know, asshole was a little bit beaten up. I, I realize that this is kind of a, a little bit of a stall. To, I mean, I guess this is actually kind of stalling as well. I, I'm not intending to stall. I'm actually just trying to top people up again here. But uh, oh, actually, I could actually use that, and that would be perfectly fine for asshole. I'm not intending to stall, but this is burning through his moves, so. It is interesting that that she's using like a different move every turn. Oh, actually got a poison on me there. But using a different move every turn to kind of uh, just cycle because she knows that nothing is particularly effective. So she's trying to not. I, I I don't know. I don't know if that's what the AI is actually doing, but trying to not burn any one particular thing down. I think um, because she doesn't know what I have beyond this. Okay, so once I do this, we are uh, back on board. Okay, and we got unpoisoned, so that's perfect. The other creator should tell her what I have, yeah. It's actually interesting. I don't, I don't know if the AI... It probably doesn't even care. It, it probably doesn't care at all. It's probably just greedy and uses whatever is most effective at the time. But there actually legitimately could be different AI for the champion. Like, I, I, I'm not going to use Aquatail because... 
I don't know if she's got like a... Oh, does this... Okay. So I can't even use water moves here. Um, uh, what was I trying to say? Oh, I need to top up again. <laughs> um, the champion might have different AI that actually does like take take into consideration what other Pokemon you have. I'm not I'm not sure. We're, like trying to conserve moves. Probably I don't know. It's it's hard to say. I'm, I'm sure such such research has been done. Did that really, like, do that much damage? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this flying type move that I don't think I've ever used. I also think she might be out of... Seriously, avoid the attack? Oh, shit, that was actually a kill. Alright. Might be out of the, the Earthquake and Rock Tosses, or whatever the fuck those were. Rock Tomb. Because it, it stopped using those. There we go. That works. It would also be nasty if she had revives and stuff as well. Like, she has full restores, but... Okay, so back to the Spirit Tomb. Um, but, like, man, imagine, imagine if she could revive her Pokemon as well. Oh, this thing's actually almost dead. Okay, yeah, it's got pressure as well. Push him down on me. Perfect. Okay, Tank Nug leveled up. Lucario is fighting steel. I think going to chomp. Would he know like an ice punch or something? I'm trying to think how I'm getting baited here. Because like fire is the obvious choice against Lucario. And like if, if someone's going to bait you, it's going to be Cynthia. Like, all of her stuff is going to be wacky bullshit. Nasty plot. I don't know exactly what that does. I don't know if that's just a stats up or if that does something if I actually hit. Okay. Get fucked, Lucario. That's three down. Three down, three to go. Chump Chimp up, asshole up. Melodic is Water Dragon, I think? Maybe just water? I'm gonna go with Sparky. not be Dragon Egg. I think it is, but... Okay, there's that water. Ooh, that was powerful. <laughs> Alright. Wait, what? Burned by the flame? What flame orb? What flame orb? Does he have a flame orb on? Got like a some sort of fire bandana on him. Okay, all right. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, let's use a Moo Moo Milk and top up. Mirror coat and it failed. That's awesome. So that means we just got that heal off for free and we are back full health. Oh, fuck off using Recover. Recover, I think, is 
recovers 50% of your health just as a move. And I think it's got 10 charges by default. So she might try and... Yeah, she's gonna fucking stall me out here. But we did actually knock her below 50%. So. And again... All right. Slowly, very, very slowly dropping her down here, I think. Okay, that was, I think, a crit. Yeah. Burn. Wait, did it not use recover this turn? Or I guess it's going first, so that was the crit afterwards. That was not a crit. So we're still just kind of... Okay, there we go. It didn't use a recover, so it should die this... No, uh, it might not quite die. Oh, or it will die. Perfect. Four down. Two to go. Five down? No, I think that was... I think that was four. Lucario, Spirit Tomb. Uh, the... the water thingy. This melodic. Okay, yeah, I think that was just four. Just on a Roserade. Okay. Oh, and yeah, okay. Roser Roserade and then and then one last. Yeah, makes sense. Yes, yeah, we haven't we haven't seen her boy. Uh flamethrower? <laughs> Okay, that's a good start. I was hoping for a, a one shot there, but. Ooh, okay. At least it didn't poison me. Uh, I should be able to. Fuck off the full restore. I was gonna say I should be able to get the. the first hit there and kill him, but. Yeah, I think I can do that again, because I, I should be faster. So she's just going to use full restores until I either get a crit or she's out of full restores. I think she has more than two full restores, if I'm remembering what I have seen online correctly. No, guess not. Maybe she just says two. All right. One left. That's her big boy. About to send out Garchomp. Uh, so I think I'll switch to Asshole. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. So, Garchomp is a dragon type, so should be weak to dragon type. <sighs> Do I go in with the Roar of Time? Fuck it, YOLO. Okay, so not going all out with a with a attack right from the start. Oh shit! Get fucked! Holy shit! All right, uh, one shot it. That was her big boy, and also her her. Uh, last Pokemon. I was not expecting that to be a... I mean, I guess that is a very strong move, but uh, we did it. You defeated Champion Cynthia. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And just now, you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. 13,464. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. 
You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure a victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. I do have calculating coolness, that is true. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the left. room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Astro, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. Hey, Panda. You just missed the final battle. Boosted. Astro, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please, Astro. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. been a long while since I last entered this room. If the last time you were here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Astro, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. You saw a dude wipe down his grocery cart and sanitize his hands while wearing his mask. <laughs> so it's like, like going through the motions, but not actually doing it correctly. I mean, I guess he was sort of protecting himself, since the mask doesn't do as much for you, for yourself. But he was protecting himself. <laughs> your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. Time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. I mean, yes, that is also important. I, I would agree, because, like, I... They, at least here, they clean the carts in theory. I don't see them doing it, but they are at least separated into cleaned and uncleaned ones. And I don't bother doing anything beyond that. But, like, yeah. <laughs> this machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Welcome to the Hall of Fame! Congratulations! Dank Nug! This rendition of the Hall of Fame theme is kind of lackluster, I will say. League Champion, congratulations! It took us 24 hours and 17 minutes. We did it! So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've never played the original. Um... But this was a perfectly good... Yeah, Cynthia's theme is a real banger. And her prelude. Uh, Mr. Mime... Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't have room for a Mr. Mime on my team. Um, but no, I mean, I, I wasn't mad at this. This was a perfectly good Pokemon game. I think, I think there were some things that were a little, like, annoying. But it's because they were a remake of an older game. Like, TMs being breakable. 
or not that they're breakable, but they're one-time use only. I think that's dumb. <laughs> I feel like they should have changed that, but I understand why they didn't, because it wasn't like that originally. Um, and it was supposed to be a, quote, faithful remake. Uh, and, and, like, that's not the end of the world, because that's whatever. Um, and the act it's actually interesting that they went and called this a very faithful remake or whatever. And then made it so you didn't have to actually teach your Pokemon the HMs. Yeah, definitely don't have horrific origin stories. Which, I will say, is a fantastic uh, change, or thing, uh, that you didn't need to teach your Pokemon HMs and you could just call them from the Pokecatch. Uh, but, like, that only just crossed my mind. It's like, they were very, very on point with not changing a lot of other stuff. But they made that, which is, like, a huge change to how you actually, like, build your party. Because normally you have to have, like, a Pokemon who just has stupid bullshit. And then you have to, like, you know, like, have the HM moves scattered across people. Um, so that's kind of weird. But I do appreciate that. That was a very good fucking... But, yeah, you'd have a fucking Bidoof in your party... With, like, four HMs on him. And you don't have to do that in this game, which is awesome. You could actually have a party of six people that you actually give a shit about. Admittedly, though, there are there are some of those moves that are, like... Uh, like, that's really weird. You probably can't... Oh, no, you should be able to. The, the credits are, like... Jumping a little bit as they hit the top of the screen... Like, they're not scrolling consistently up. <laughs> Brock still exists. I'm sure Brock is still around sexually harassing every, every character. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, like, all things considered, I... I I can understand maybe why you would be upset that this game didn't have more if you had played this game before, but, like, it seemed like a perfectly good uh, game from a first-time first, first -time perspective. And I mean, I, I guess the I guess the other complaint is that it didn't have like this was diamond and pearl and not platinum, which is like the the third version with extra stuff and whatever. Um, but I guess since I don't know what that extra stuff is, I, it doesn't matter to me. Wow. My blood money for more dumb shit. Thank you for the resub, <laughs> blood money. Also, I adjusted the volume of those of those sounds that I had added last time, so that they don't blast your eardrums out. <laughs> and we came home. The end. You support me so that you can hear the, the tingle sound effects. Uh, okay, there we go. I assume it's just... Yes, it just kicked me back to the main menu. So now we can go back in. He'll never know where he is. I mean, yeah, are you going to let him out of the house without his tracker? Astro, dumb motherfucker came looking for you a while ago. I don't know what it was about, 
but he was shouting about you needing to get on a ship at Snow Point City. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I could ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Is your project with Professor Rowan coming along? Alright, so yeah. So now we can go... Oh, and the bell was... Yeah, the bell was on his collar as well. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, we are now... Head to where dumb motherfucker is calling you. So yeah, now there's some post-game stuff. Uh, I don't think we'll stream all of that. We'll see where we go. But yeah, we gotta go to Canalave, I think is... Oh, wait, no, Snow Point? Oh, okay. What is this? Iron Island? This must be where we can go from Canalave, because I think there was a boat there that said we could go somewhere. <laughs> There's a bell and collar coming tomorrow. But yeah, make sure to get a vote in. Uh, wait, we are fully healed, yes? Yes. Uh, that boat was down here somewhere? What's your deal? Brr, this snowbound town is always freezing cold, but the spirits of the trainer and the Pokemon burn hot and bright. Especially the gym leader. What is it? Do you want to sail to the battle zone? Yes, yeah, send me to the vector graphics and tanks. Trackers the size of a Tamagotchi. Oh, hey Astro, what took you so long? I'm finding you a hundred million Pokebucks. Listen up, I'm gonna become the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here, to toughen up myself and my Pokemon. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't help overhearing that. The greatest trainer ever? That's gonna be really tough, because you're talking about me. Uh, are you the champion? Uh, sir slash madame slash they? To prove it, I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled. You really don't know anything, do you? Alright. I'll tell you. This is the battle zone, okay? At the far end is a volcano, and deep inside that volcano, there's supposed to be a treasure. So, what's the big deal? If I find the treasure first, that'll make me the greatest trainer ever? Then that's what I'll do, Astro. And you too, stranger. That treasure is mine. But before that, I'm going to the battle tower. See ya. That guy just can't stay put, can he? Anyways. Howdy, I'm Buck. If that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another thing coming. So, do you know that zippity dippity trainer? Zippity dippity. You should chase after the guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You better shape up at the battle tower first. I don't like your chances of getting to the volcano otherwise. Be seeing you. What, is this Is this island all, all champions? Former champions of Sinnoh? Fight area battles galore. Howdy, trainer. You have a Pokedex, do you? But the person who gave you that Pokedex is waiting for you to fill it completely. Go out and challenge other trainers. They'll often have different Pokemon. So your Pokedex will fill up in no time flat. It's where they put you to retire. Yeah, exactly. After you get beaten, you, you get shipped off to the battle area. Whenever I travel somewhere new, I get excited over what I might discover. But the places I've visited before, even those can thrill me with new discoveries. Okay. Do do put it. I don't know why I'm picking these berries. On do berries. I guess I'll pick the world clean here and then keep going. Your Pokemon are from Sinnoh, aren't they? We're used to seeing some of those kinds around here. Is this not technically Sinnoh? We're in this top corner, right? Yeah. Is this technically a different... I don't think this is a different region. There are no pit stops on the road to toughness. Just made that up, but it sounds pretty cool, don't you think? Volcanic activity has caused the land around here to become craggy. Hard enough to hike over such rough terrain even without all the ups and downs. 
Fantastic. Battle Zone used to attract only the hardiest of trainers. They were considered eccentric for gathering at a place like this. It's hard to believe how much has changed since then. Places like the fight area and the survival area just seem to spring up overnight. Survival area sounds like some sort of purge thing. He was one of those early eccentrics who were around during the first days of the Battle Zone. Well, I was too. Yeah, that's a that's a interesting account <laughs> to even operate. Even from here, we could see the peak of Mount Coronet. Most people didn't notice what happened up there, but I did. But I don't know what took place exactly or anything like that. Everyone's fanatical about battling. Oh wait, that that's it. Okay, everyone's fanatical about battling. Pokemon League's Elite Four come here sometimes. Great, but guess what they're not? The champion? It's me. What item should Pokemon hold? It's a question every trainer has to answer. Here's something else to think about. A scope lens, I think? I don't know what that does. Now, which Pokemon will hold that scope lens? Have I given you more questions than answers? I don't remember what a scope lens does. I thought that increased crit opportunities. It does, okay. <laughs> Just that we had something else that I think did that as well. Going to Nam. All right. No worries. See you later. Or, well, I guess be right back. See, what is it? Item to be held by a Pokemon may endure. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's just uh, that. No, wait. Then what? What the f fuck was the, like, fire something that... We, like something something burned someone after I did a thunderbolt I don't know what that oh maybe it was something that the other Pokemon was holding that I like broke I'm the guaranteed victory in every battle or something's BP can't buy I think it was like a flame orb I'm just curious now actually I'm gonna just quickly see if a Pokemon flame orb is something and like how that works because we burnt one of Cynthia's Pokemon after hitting them with Sparky he ate a breakfast bar and a mini bag of chips I mean that sounds like a full meal uh, Pokemon flame orb it's a held item introduced in gen 4 it burns the holder the core series game so what is it at the end of the turn, the end of the turn, the flame orb burns its holder. Flame orb activates after the Pokemon would take damage from burn. It does not take da burn damage to the turn it's burned by the flame orb. Activates after a Pokemon is cured of its static condition by affection, hydration, or shed skin. Oh, so she probably had some move that would have put that on me. And now you've never been hungry. I don't... Yeah, that's weird. She must have had some... There must be some trick that she was trying to pull there, because otherwise it doesn't make sense that her Pokemon would be holding something that sets them on fire. Oh, unless... Unless that Pokemon had something that would benefit from it being affected by burn? I don't know. I, I, I do not know why she had that. I'll have to, like, look that up, because I'm sure there's an analysis of, like, why her Pokemon are set up as they are. I've battled many trainers over the years, and I've gained some confidence in my skills, but the world's still a huge place in life. In life, there's no such thing as an easy win. Battle park where trainers train. So. Where's the battle tower? Where's the bat? Oh, battle tower's in the battle park. The way to the battle park? Yeah. Okay. It's weird that Battle Tower isn't mentioned on the on the sign there. Welcome to the Battle Park. It's your first time, isn't it? Isn't it? Please step this way. Since this is your first visit, you need to be given a point card. Point cards are used only in the battle park. Here you go. Point 
Put the point card in your bag's key items pocket. Uh, if you need information on the point card, please ask the receptionist next to me. I'm the one to ask if you need any information on the facilities here in the battle park. For information on the battle rules used in the battle park, please ask the receptionist across from me. Uh, point card. Every trainer is provided with a point card. It confirms their challenger status. Stores battle points that you earn from battling in the battle tower. Okay. What about BP? Trevor battle points are used only in the battle park. Earn BP by hitting certain performance targets battling at this battle tower. We trade for prizes at the exchange service corner. Okay. You can explain the facilities, right? Ah, you know what? I don't give a shit, actually. I just remembered. I just remembered. I don't give a shit. Uh, rundown of the rules. Okay, what are the... Level, I think everything is even levels here. Pokemon battles at the battle tower. Pokemon that are level 51 or higher will be set to level 50 for the battles. But be careful, Pokemon that are lower than level 50 will be left as... Oh, okay, so everything's brought down to 50, but not up to 50 as well. Uh, species and numbers of Pokemon. Excluding eggs and certain exotic Pokemon, virtually every species of Pokemon may enter the battle tower. Please be aware that the number of Pokemon you may enter will depend on the course you try. Also permitted to take only one of each kind of Pokemon into the battle tower. Oh, okay, so no no dupes, I guess is what it's saying. Uh, held items. No two Pokemon in your party may hold the same... Okay, so no dupes there either. Okay. What's your deal? Battle Tower's up ahead. I wonder what kind of trainers are waiting there. Oh, this person just says welcome. Do you... Okay, okay those people are useless. Got it. All right. The types of Pokemon, the moves to be taught and used, the items to be held. To become number one here, there's no detail that can be overlooked. It's weird how this area is like super zoomed out like this and kind of fish-eyed. I don't really understand why, actually. It'd be cool to team up with a beauty for double battles. <laughs> Alright, dude. I hear that the world's best gather here for battles. This is my chance to get global fame and recognition. Item over here. This guy's got a baby? I'm a kid toad and trainer. I want to show my beloved beloved son something cool. So I'm having to go up master class. Ah! Wahaha! We earned a lot of BP at the battle tower. Now I can exchange them for loads of prizes. Okay, so that's the exchange service corner. Oh, these are both exchange service corners? Okay. What to get today? Perhaps a technical machine will do. I'm just curious what prizes we can get here. Fucking clown. This building's so grand. Why does it need to be so? How's it going? If things aren't going well, why not grab some prizes here? Like toughen up your Pokemon toughen up your Pokemon just enough to be do better. Oh, I see you've beaten the Elite Four. Then you can now have your level 100 Pokemon undergo hyper training. What's this? Seems you don't have any bottle caps or gold. Okay, so there's like some further training you can do at a level 100. Grandma, Grandma, I went and traded. You can have this, Grandma. Oh, what is it, dear? Oh, a sludge bomb. Why, thank you so much, dear. You're such a cute, tough, and kind girl. I feel blessed to have a grandchild like you. Okay, that's the same dialogue. All right, what do we got in the exchange service corner? And also, the other question is, are these all the same? So, Calm Mind, Toxic, Bulk Up, Earthquake, Shadow Ball. <laughs> yeah, literal ball of sewage. Uh, that's poisonous. Brick break, sludge bomb. Jesus, sludge bomb is 80, and this kid's just like, hand him out. Aerial ace, attract. Energy ball, dragon pulse, will o wisp. Stone edge, thunder wave, excessor, cut, fly. Oh, okay, so you can buy the HM moves here, apparently, as well. Strength, the fog, rock smash, waterfall, and rock climb. But the weird thing is, like, other than the HMs, none of those seemed like particularly exciting moves. Okay, so then over here, a patch that allows a Pokemon with a regular ability to have a rare ability. Okay, that sounds like something theoretically useful. Uh, capsule that allows a Pokemon with two abilities to switch between these abilities when it's used. Okay. Bottle cap. 
Can't buy a clown costume. Uh... Oh, interesting. You can just straight up buy rare candies here. PP ups. Actually, interesting that you can buy PP ups as well. HP up. Lucky egg. Which increases the XP that you can collect. Power bracer. Power belt. Power lens. Power band. Power anklet. Power weight. Pomac berry. Various berries. Life orb. Boost the power of moves, but at the cost of some HP on each hit. Badly poison the Oh, these this is the there's the flame orb that I was wondering about. Um White Herb. Mental Herb. Shakes off move binding effects to move oh, okay, yeah. Power allows the holder to immediately use a move that normally requires Okay, interesting. <laughs> Starting to cash in your your points. Choice band. Choice specs, choice scarf. Quite choice, you could say. Wow, there's a lot of shit here. Like, pretty much anything, it looks like you move here. Transparent device somehow filled with all sorts of data. It was produced by Silphco. Got 90,000, you got a couple more of those to go then. <laughs> there's only so much I can make them useful for. Okay, uh... You see that little girl with a grandmother upstairs? That girl is a terror, little terror in pilot. You'll, wait, what? You never... You never can judge people. What I most care about is the crushing power of my darling Pokemon. Are there any prizes that would help them get more power? Wait, is that a real doorbell ring? Why did my doorbell? Who just, who just rang my door at? Like, someone just. Cart? What? My doorbell just rang. Someone just. I'm gonna hold on. I'm, I'm gonna go check my door. I think a. Package just got delivered or something? I don't even know. Although that being said, an extra game vote's not a bad idea. All right. Yeah, I just got a package delivered. It's like almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, all right. Thud. What the? Yeah, it, it was not. But I, I almost wonder if it was like the delivery guy got home or something and like knows the package in the car still because now that I'm thinking about it, did I get a I didn't get a notification saying it was out for delivery so yeah I don't know I don't I don't know I don't know it, it was Amazon yeah I mean norm they're usually pretty good I'd have to look actually I'm, I'm now curious because uh, um, I'm curious what shipping company it was. There's, there's like a few companies that they use locally 
there, there's three that I know of. There's one called Intelcom, which used to be shitty, but now is pretty good. There's one called Joey Co, which is still pretty shitty, but not the worst. And then there's one called Apple Delivery, uh, which is just fucking terrible. They just like will leave a package at your door, not ring the doorbell, uh, not knock. You get no emails of notification saying that it was delivered. Okay, okay, that was Intelcom. Wow, yeah, that's weird. They were delivering at 9.50. Like, what in the fuck? They must, they must be in that Christmas rush. What the? Whoops, sorry about that. I was in a rush. Oh, wait a second, aren't you? You're Astro from Twinleaf. Wow, that brings back memories. So if you're here, you can't be far behind. This should be fun. Let's see you. Well, I mean, I... I peeked out the window before I opened the door, just in case there was, like... I could see the package, but it's, like... Weird. Yeah, fucking... Yeah, anthrax scares. Yeah, that... There he is. Thud! What the... Oh, hey, Astro! Yeah, fucking glitter bombs. God damn it. You came to the Battle Tower, too, huh? I decided to see how I measure up before going to Stark Mountain. That guy you were just talking to. Nah, that's all right. I got here on my own power. Won't take long before I see him. See ya, Astro. I'm gonna toughen up here. Oh, there's even more back here. You get a big win streak at the Battle Tower, you'll get to battle some real superstars. In the battle rooms, the seventh trainer you face is the room's boss. You need to stay focused if you want to win. Battle Tower, gather all ye greatest. All right, well, let's save before we go in here, I guess. I mean, yeah, I, I always say Omicron, but I, apparently I think Om Omicron is technically more correct, but like, yeah. <laughs> So many tough trainers around. It's scary, but let's do our best, Pikachu. Only a handful of trainers are tough enough for master class battles. I don't remember even how they say it on Futurama. Yeah, I used to live in a place called Hoenn. There was a place like this back there, too. Ooh la la, you look tremendously powerful. Verily, I shall look forward to engaging you in a battle. Profile you on TV if you set a good enough record here. This is my only chance to regain my glory as an idol. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Have you ever tried the Masterclass battles? Everyone's so strong in them, I can't win at all. Ooh, Macron. I trained my little guide till we couldn't take anymore. He's gonna do a hundred win streak for sure. Right, Pikachu? You look like something of an expert. I'll bet you're just long to know everything there is about Pokemon, right? Yes, I can tell just by looking at you. Well, you're in luck. I'd like to give you a present that will, will let you see straight through that to a Pokemon's innate strength. It's called the judge function. If you're selecting a Pokemon in a box, press the plus or minus button to see its potential. This you will truly be an expert. Can I, can I like, can only do that in a box? Wait, hold on, what? Speed is no good. It's very odd how this is like, how this is rated here. Okay stats, okay stats, good stats, okay stats, great stats, great stats. Fast HP, pretty good in a bunch of things. Whereas he's best in like a whole bunch of them. Speed is no good. Uh, alright. Whatever. Um, how does this work then? Battle Tower is exactly what it sounds like. It's a place where you can have Pokemon battles. You try single battles and double battles and then they're master classes. If you win, you can earn rare candies and BP. Oh, is that... Okay, I thought I would talk to this 
Oh, what? Hold on, what? Okay. Welcome to Battle Tower. I'm your guide to the single and double battle rooms. Yeah, let's take a battle room challenge. I want to battle. Would you like to enter the single battle room? Well, let's go single battles. Oh wait, I'm not allowed to use I'm not allowed to use my big boy. God damn it. Alright, well we gotta Guess we'll put Geo Fuck, do we put Geonude in? Already put, <laughs> put perfect being in. I guess Geonude was my was my plan for the sixth slot before, so I guess we'll put him in for now. Let's see See how uh, that works. Cause I think everyone else is gonna be too low anyway. I guess this team is okay. Oh shit, what? Hold on. Um, this whole system is very weird. Uh, we'll send him in first, then maybe him. And then... Wait, what? Oh, I only get to take three? Uh, in that case... Yeah, this is fine. I don't understand why I had to have six people if I only get to use three. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> but it's not really important, so whatever. Alright, we're gonna start off by beating up a little kid. On the subject of Pokemon, I simply don't lose. So, yeah, it's three on three. Okay, just starting with Chimchar. Which is fine, because that's an inferior version of my starter. I mean, yeah, just your Pokemon, you're right. But I am going to take her money afterwards, I assume. It is fascinating that she has a level 50 Chimchar, though. Because it didn't... It explicitly said that... Um, it didn't give me an opportunity to switch, did it? No. Uh, it explicitly said that... Uh, it doesn't bring their levels up. So that means that she explicitly trained that Chimchar and denied it evolutions. You're okay with me taking your money. And Bonsley, which is rock type. Should be able to beat the shit out of it with a power up punch. Should have done close combat. I don't know why I didn't. Pokemon way. All right, one down. I'm going to review the subject, and I'll subject you to my revenge. 
Oh, we actually didn't take her money. I guess I guess our prize is just battle points or whatever. Okay, so we do get refilled between each fight. So I don't need to be worried about using my strongest moves. When I grow up, I'm going to be a Pokemon professor. Because I, I can just wallop them with whatever. Gloria. And Pikachu. So what's... I think close combat is stronger than flamethrower. Yeah. Get fucked, Pikachu. Uh, and then a slow poke. shouldn't be that effective here. Oh, confusion though? That's annoying. Come on, ignore the confusion. Fuck yeah. Get fucked, Slowpoke. And then another water type. Oh, I forgot that this was like an automatic multi-use situation. Oh yeah, it's automatic multi-use and since it's, uh, since we don't get to switch between, I can't like cancel it. Get fucked! Ahem, ahem, seems I have much to learn still. Okay, refill. On at number three. I'm not sure what it means when it says take a break. I want to test out something I learned at private school. Like, I'm not sure if that lets me go and like change equipment. It's Griffin. School kid Chaz. It's funny because when I have. Chomp Chimp out, and then I switch to Dank Nug. Like, 100% of the time it baits them into using a water move. It, it is. It really is. Uh, it baits them into using a water move, which isn't very effective against Dank Nug. Oh, Crab Hammer. Oh, shit. Speaking of moves, not very effective. Oh no, don't crab hammer me. Fuck. Crab hammered me. That's not a not great. That's not great. Crab hammered the shit right out of me. Hopotus. Hippopotus, I guess. Okay, and then this little ship rains. Sandstorm. It's a move for losers. Right. Okay, who's your final? Get Chaz, a new mole. Maya he, Maya ha, Numel, Numel. Get fucked. Hmm, something's wrong here. Okay, full heal. 
I like how we got a heal. I guess there's probably another nurse in the in the back room there. To heal them after they lose. Oh yes, I shall attack now. Lady Camille. Or check, okay. Torchic. Wait, hold on. What gen is Torchic? Torchic isn't. Wait, is Torchic Gen 3? Isn't Embor? Isn't isn't Gen 3 the pig fire one? Yeah. Is Torchic Gen 2? I guess Torchic's Gen 2. Yeah, the uh, the final evolution of Torchic is is disturbing. This Pokemon to death. Yeah, is Tartric Gen 2? I don't know, Tartric Gen 3. Gen 2 one? Now I'm so confused. Wait, also, I thought I was done here. Uh, flamethrower. Oh! Oh yeah, no, not even. No. I clicked on fucking that. I'm so confused. Gen 1 is Charmander. Gen 2 is Cyndaquil. Gen 3 is Torchic. Gen 4 is Chimchar. How oh, this motherfucker survived? Gen... Oh! How big is Gen 5? Oh, okay. Weird. I thought he was... Earlier. Weird. Oh, how disappointing. Well, I think I think the description says that it's not an egg that it's holding. It's a it's a rock. It's pretending to be a chance. Pretending to be a chancy. <sighs> Point number 5. Yeah, it is somewhat odd. Okay, we got ourselves a rocker here. Let's get this jam session on. I like how this guy brings his guitar into this battle just to like have a prop. Guitarist Irvin. Oh, he's got a Geo dude. Let's crack him in half. Crack him open. Look at his insides. See how colorful they are. <laughs> Apparently. Fucking sturdy, dumb ass. Bulldoze nuts. Yeah, I mean, Mimikyu in all in all in the grand scheme of things isn't all that creepy. It's, it's not any more creepy than like any of the other ghost types really wait what type is Doduo if not if not just normal what type is Doduo oh fucking quick attack okay Doduo 
Duo Gen 4. Yeah, cause, well, because he wasn't weak to fighting, is the thing. Which implies that he's not just normal. Oh, he might be fighting. Uh, normal flying? What? Everybody who doesn't have wings? Also, with a name like Doduo, is it not a Dodo? Isn't Dodo, like, literally the inspiration of the name? It's a Dodo with two heads? I mean, yes. It, it has the appearance of an ostrich, which, yeah. Ostriches also cannot fly, right? I'm fairly confident they can't fly at all. Uh, my dream of world tour, it seems so far away. Yeah, it shouldn't shouldn't fly, as opposed to shouldn't not fly. Point number six. It, it, that is very weird typing. I'm pretty. I like. Now we gotta look again. Like, did Doduo get flying type added at some point? I don't think Doduo was nor a flying type in Gen 1. I'm not gonna look. Like, I feel like it was just normal type for... Picnicker Nicole. Or Nicole. Okay, Badoo, that's a good start. Nicole. Do is 100% weed. Right, we got ourselves a Badoof. We're gonna, we're gonna punch his teeth out here. Badoo is a dank nug. Growlith, okay. Punch his teeth out too, just for fun. Not like we're gonna switch out here. Discovered beavers on the coast near saltwater? Yeah, that's weird. Ooh la la, even losing can't dampen my spirits. Number seven. So this should be our boss, I think. Also, it's interesting. We didn't get a take a break option. Your adventure is over. Come hither and get whooped. <laughs> Lady Tiana. So this is a an ice type, I believe. No runt. Oh wow. <laughs> All of our moves were super effective. I actually should have done uh, close combat then, but whatever. Swablu. Flying water, I think. Oh, what? Okay. Weird that she would send that out and then. Switch to Houndor? Okay, sure. I'll punch this thing in the mouth as well. I really don't mind. Now bring out the other one so I can punch it again. 
Or punch it for real. I didn't punch it at all before. Always cold, yeah. Despite being wrapped up in that little outfit. Alright, let's punch it in the beak. Oh, how vexing this is. Verily, I thank you. Alright. Congratulations, you've beaten all seven trainers. For your seven win streak, we present you with these battle points. Three. Alright. A battle. Single battle. We'll do the same three again, I guess. I really don't understand why... I always want Taco Bell, too. Fucking... Is the Taco Bell Chihuahua still a thing? Did they stopped doing that? Also, that reminds me that they just opened a Taco Bell kind of near me. I don't know if it's available for delivery. I saw it the other day when I was driving around. There used to be one around here, but then it closed, like, probably, like, 15 years ago. Look, this is my favorite parasol. Oh, and my fabulous Pokemon. I, I haven't had... I haven't had Taco Bell in probably, like... Uh... I think I last had Taco Bell in Denver? And that would have been... 2011 or 2012, I think? Wait, are we fighting the same people? Did I... Oh, did I have to go to a different... Did I have to go to a different... Desk? But yeah, I don't know if it's available for delivery, actually. I, I haven't... I don't know when it opened. I think it, like, just opened. Okay, no, this is different, because she didn't have a Beedrill before. And I guess we were fighting literal literal children before, so... This is definitely a different person. Fucking Beedrill. Is Beedrill sturdy, or is... It's got some stupid bullshit. Yeah. Oh, fuck out of here. Jirisu. It's just a normal type, I think. I don't... Oh, maybe it's ice. I want to punch its teeth in, though, so... Let's do that. Oh, fuck! It did a quick attack, too! That's bullshit that its quick attack took precedence over my... Over my, uh... Um... Quick Claw. Gonna nuzzle. It was a critical, critical nuzzling. Oh, and the synchronize didn't work. But get fucked. Love it. I'm only showing you. You can't have any. Okay, let me get our... I mean... I just want to punch a Pokemon in the teeth. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Look at this guy. He's got a fucking bandana that's like 10 feet long. Behold my fearsome ninja technique. Your fearsome ninja technique is going to be... Have someone step on your little bandana behind you and pull you to the ground. 
Ninja Boy Trevor. Ninja Boy Trevor doesn't know how to spell Trevor. Maybe it's Treve. Okay, light screen. Sure, go for it. Uh, maybe I should actually do a flame loop? Nah, fuck it. We'll just do flamethrower anyway. Alright, Treve, what are you gonna send out next? Yanma. All these weird, like, random ass bug Pokemon. Protect is a block. Or protect, rather. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna trip on his little bandana. It's gonna get underneath his foot or someone else's foot. And he's just gonna get pulled to the fucking ground. Fucking weeping bell, okay. Kid's sending out his blowjob machine here. I'll say that if I was to have caught a Weeping Bell, Weeping Bell, I would have 100% named it BJ Master, maybe BJ Masterson, and it would never have been blocked by the uh, by the uh, name blocking system. Constant buffering. That's unfortunate. didn't fall for my fake ninja boasting. <laughs> Doesn't mean it can't be good at BJ's. And this man bringing in his fishing rod. Fish, fish, fish! That's what I do! I'm gonna fish it all up! Puts unrealistic expectations on it. Okay, baby Lucario. I think Riolu is still. Oh, maybe it's not steel. Okay, well, set it on fire then. Also, why does this fisherman have a Riolu? Okay. Also, why did I bother switching to the weaker move? Kabuto, okay. <laughs> also, we've definitely never seen a Kabuto in battle. It's, oh wait, actually maybe we did. We actually might have seen one somewhere along the way. I was gonna say it's weird that we know it's effectiveness and uneffectiveness. Laffy. Set all that wool on fire. Baby's back out to get shit kicked in. Oh, wow! I let that one get away! Alright, up next.
four. La 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 la. What is this enough? I don't know what type this is. Idol Selena. I don't think we saw any idols throughout the game. Oh, this motherfucker's gonna try and crab hammer me. Let's hammer his crab in. That's right. Fuck off. Okay, a haunter, okay. Get fucked. The tune is just a fucking stupid ass bug. Alright, she just got, like, one shot at across the board there. Bye-bye, Lala! Your Pokemon will be restored to full health. That was number four, I think, so we should be on to number five? Yeah. Okay, it's like Pokedad. Okay, show me your favorite Pokemon. Don't be shy now, come on. Pokefan Dusty. Fucking Porygon? Okay. This guy busted out the, the big Pokebucks to buy himself a Porygon. Yeah, I'll get him over there. <laughs> Maybe that eye contact is what you're looking for. Psyduck, okay. Punch the Psyduck to death. Snubble, who also is going to get its teeth punched out. Oh, or maybe not, actually. Maybe we're just going to set it on fire and walk away. Uh, this is the battle tower here, which is some post-game stuff. I see, cute and yet tough. Although, admittedly, it's not putting up as much of a challenge as I thought it was supposed to. I guess, this is just like further battles you can keep doing with, with like kind of equalized leveling. Every, everything is brought down to level 50 to kind of get rid of the typical over-leveling issue. I probably should have just headed towards the actual, like, actual endgame stuff. Okay, the actual grown-up Togepi? Fuck out of here. Fuck this wish do. No idea what that does. Dazzling Gleam, okay. Whatever. Oh, okay. I think that's the wish, yeah.
I mean, I probably should have actually switched to something else, but... Oh, yeah, okay. Now nah, this was a bad idea. Wait, was that her second Pokemon? How badly have I fucked myself here? Oh, so that just makes it start raining, which does lower effectiveness of fire type moves, but it doesn't actually damage me, so that's fine. This will be less effective because of the rain, but let's see how it goes. Oh my, that was inspiring. You're the greatest. Number seven. So this is our boss. There's a beauty, I guess. I really don't like weak trainers. Well, let's see if you are one or not. Beauty Barbara. Chikorita, okay. <laughs> That's a bad start already. Incinerated. Imagine bringing a fucking unevolved Chikorita to this fight. Wobbuffet, okay. Uh, yeah, whatever, just keep, keep burning. Maybe not ideal. Oh, I thought mirror. I didn't think mirror coat was an attack. Hmm. I actually don't have anything that's like particularly effective here. Try flame wheel in cases. That's is significantly lower, but I kind of doubt it. Safeguard is some defense. We get some health back. Burned down, which undoes the leftovers. Come on, get a crit. Ooh, very close. Okay, so that'll kill us. Burn applies. Undoes the leftovers. Uh, let's switch to Dank Nug. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done Petal Dance, but whatever. I guess we'll see what she sends out next. Because this goes for at least another turn. Hell kid. Okay, I don't think that'll be particularly effective against us, but neither will our neither will our pedal dance. Oh, never mind. That was plenty good. Under punch. And do we get our shit off? Yes, we do. All right, not even a problem. Pokemon trainer should be tough and bursting with life. You 
beating all seven trainers for your seven win streak. We present with these battle points. Another three BP. What is this side then? Okay, so this is the master class battle side. In order to enter master class, you have to win 49 times in a row in either the single battles or double battles of the regular battle. Okay, well, we're definitely not doing that. Uh, let's have a look back here. Oh, I've got to put asshole back in our party. Yeah, Dank Nug is our, uh, is our Rosalia. Just a, a dank little nug. Look at that dank nug. The dankest of nugs. Okay, so we've done some of that. Let's head over this other way, though. The real question is, should I try and finish the rest of this post-game stuff in the subsequent days? God, this track is a banger, too. Oh, is this not Trainers? Hold it right there, Trainer. Have you been to the Battle Tower? It's a good place to learn beautiful battle techniques. You can see all sorts of Pokemon and their moves also. Got to visit the Battle Tower. Oh, wow, what? Am I really blocked off? Until I've done, like, 49 battles in the Battle Tower? Holy shit, am I seriously? Oh, that's kind of lame. I probably have to, like, get to that guy who is presumably the leader of the final stage of the regular Battle Tower. And also now my objective is actually to finish the Pokedex. Uh, huh. So we're definitely not gonna be finishing the Pokedex. I can guarantee you that. Uh, let's just get one more of those to bring us up to 25, just for my own purposes. Round these numbers out nicely. I know we used a burn heal as well, so pick up two of these, bring these to nice numbers. Am I ignoring the core tenet of gotta catch them all? I, I am indeed. Buy two more of these. I, as it turns out, I do not, in fact, gotta catch them all. Not a, I don't know. I'm the Sinnoh champion. Um. But yeah, I mean, I guess if we're not going to catch them all, which we're not. <laughs> like some shit Ash would say. Uh, if we're not going to catch them all, and I opt to not grind my way through the battle tower, because that seems boring as shit. Um... It might uh, make sense to stop here, maybe? I guess, because, like, I could do more of the battle tower, but man, that that is not that exciting. The battles are not... I'm the Gary of the game. I got there first. Uh, the battles are... I mean, actual battles. Like, the Battle of Cynthia, that was a legit fight. I actually had to think about it a little bit. Uh, but 
these fights, I mean, it, I guess it, they're getting harder a little bit, but, like, they are mind-numbingly boring <laughs> going through the 14 that we did there already. Uh, I can't imagine the, like, 35 more that we would have to get through to get through the regular battle tower. Um, and then there's the master class ones, of which I assume there are 49 more, at least. Uh, those ones are probably a little bit harder, but I really do not feel like it. <laughs> so, yeah. So I think, I think maybe we should call it here. Um, and I guess that means we will start something new tomorrow. So make sure to get a game vote in, uh, if you have not already. Um, and, uh, yeah, that is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So, thanks for watching, and good night.